Oh, I love Idaho landscape because it's, you have variety of landscapes, you know. You have the mountains, you have the rivers, you have the lakes, canyons, and the forest, and the desert, farm field. We have everything here. We have beautiful skies in Idaho. You, you will not find any, any better skies in the, all the United States, you know. That appreciation for the outdoors, Bill Garabian gleaned from his father. I was in his studio since I was a little kid, <laughs> running around, playing with the toys. He was painting outside, I was watching him, you know, and we were going to countryside, I was watching him too. That's how I fell in love with the landscapes. So I decided if I will be a painter, I'll paint only landscapes only. All right, so a couple weeks ago, we introduced you to Bill Garabian. He's an artist and owner of the Idaho Art Gallery in Meridian. We originally aired that story because he opened his gallery to guest artists, the public, to see and buy their pieces. So what's also interesting about Bill is that he was born and raised in the former Soviet Union. And as you heard, his father remembered the Soviet Art Society. Bill moved to Twin Falls with his family in 1991 to escape what was then still a Soviet Union. But it's a good state to live in, Idaho is, if you're inspired by landscapes, but still kind of scary if you don't really know anybody. Not knowing anybody was quickly resolved, though, for Bill and his family. After that story aired, we got an email from Dennis and Mary Lynn Culp, who now live in Meridian. But in 1991, they lived in Twin Falls, and they worked for the College of Southern Idaho Refugee Center. And their job was to resettle refugees. The Culps met the Garabians at the Twin Falls Airport in 1991 and helped them move into their apartment, they told us. They hung out for about an hour with them that first day, and they became friends, enjoying meals and, of course, the occasional salute of vodka. The Culps moved away from Twin Falls in 1996 and lost, lost touch with the Garabians. Then the Culps saw our story of Bill's gallery opening on Friday the 21st, actually recognized his name. They said they were dumbfounded to hear it, they wrote. So they went to the showing that night, and the two families got together for the first time in almost two decades. You can imagine the tugs and the tears. Mary Lynn told us it was such a heartwarming evening for us and brought back such wonderful memories. We will now get together with this family and pick up where we left off. They are wonderful people and hard workers who got their citizenship as soon as they could. We cannot say enough about this family, Mary Lynn said. The Culps even bought Bill's painting of the Prime Bridge, as you just saw that. I'm willing to bet there was a shot of vodka involved. There's nothing better about doing these stories like these than learning how much it meant or it means to bridge the gap lost to all those years, to bring these folks back together, which is why we want to thank you for sharing your story with us.